FreshBooks is one of my favorite accounting solutions for small businesses that I've talked about on this channel, especially for when it comes to service-based businesses. Everything you need for bookkeeping can be found inside FreshBooks, and today I'm going to walk you through setting up and using FreshBooks the right way for all your accounting needs. If you're after an accounting solution for your service-based business, then this accounting tutorial may be for you. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Now to get started with QuickBooks on a free 30-day trial, simply head over to your browser and type in freshbooks.com or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate up to try it free. Also just quickly, I'm going to be navigating through FreshBooks from the perspective of a small business owner, a service-based business owner, not an accountant. This means you'll learn how to use the fundamental FreshBooks tools and features from the perspective of a fellow business owner. Then simply sign up, add your details and navigate through the sign up process. And I'll meet you inside your account where we can dive into FreshBooks. Okay, so once you've signed up, you'll be taken inside your FreshBooks account. Now, before we dive into our dashboard, let's quickly take a look at pricing. Like I mentioned, when you first sign up with FreshBooks, you get access to a 30-day free trial. This allows you to test out FreshBooks to see if this works for your accounting and bookkeeping activities. After that, you can sign up to one of these three paid plans. And for most small service-based businesses, the plus plan is going to be sufficient enough. Now, it's important to note the one limitation, which typically forces service-based businesses to upgrade to the premium plan. And that is the limitation on invoices. With the plus plan, you can only send invoices to up to 50 clients. So as your business grows, you may find you'll have to upgrade to the premium plan. For the first three months, you do get a slight discount. However, after the first three months, these plans go up to the standard pricing. The subscription pricing is slightly on the higher end, however, still incredibly cost-effective and impactful for service-based businesses. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back into our dashboard and start navigating through all the tools and features that you can leverage inside your FreshBooks account. Let's first quickly cover your dashboard. If we navigate up to dashboard and click this edit icon, we can rearrange and customize our dashboard. These are different widget snapshots that we can play around with based on what's important to our business. So what do you first wanna see when you log into your FreshBooks account? Okay, let's hit save. If we navigate up to this quick actions button, we can quickly engage in important accounting actions like adding clients, setting up recurring invoices, creating invoices, as well as adding and managing income, expenses, creating estimates, proposals, and more down here. If we take a look above this button, we can search for anything within our account. This could be clients, projects, invoices, or bills. Okay, let's close out of that and navigate across. Under notifications, you can quickly see any important updates. Again, we have quick actions down here. We can quickly add an item or service, create and add a new client, as well as generate an invoice. However, let's close these for now, as we'll cover these items within this tutorial. And now that we've tidied up our dashboard, you can see all these different accounting widgets down here. Again, if you want to customize your dashboard display, simply click here and make those changes to these different accounting widgets. Okay, let's close out of this. And let's first take a look at settings. It's important that you set up your FreshBooks account correctly before you start engaging in bookkeeping and accounting activities. Under business profile, make sure you add your correct business information. Take your time to add your details here. I'll quickly do that now. Once you've added your business details, go ahead and click save changes and then head back to settings. Navigate down to tax and financial information. Add your base currency, tax name and number, fiscal end of year month. In New Zealand, that's March. Then add your standard rate. This is your default billable rate set for your different projects. So your standard hourly rate. Then come down and click on save changes. Okay, let's navigate back to settings and take your time to add your brand appearance, email customizations, and notifications. I'm going to quickly do this now to save us some time. Okay, so I've gone ahead and personalized these settings inside my account. Now, if we navigate down to online payments, here you can connect Stripe or PayPal to streamline the way that you capture payments through your invoices. Your customers can quickly make payments through these different connected payment gateways. I suggest you take the time to connect these now. Once you've done that, navigate back over to settings and then navigate down to payment options. This is where you want to set up how you get paid. Here you want to add payment options that will be added to all your invoices, recurring templates and checkout links. Okay, so I'm going to quickly connect PayPal in this step I showed you earlier and then add PayPal as my default payment option here. Okay, so once you've connected a payment gateway like PayPal or Stripe, you'll see the option to turn on or off online payments. Here we have the different options for capturing payments from our clients. 
and we can also allow clients to make partial payments online. Okay, so I'm happy with these default payment details and these will be added to all my invoices, recurring templates and checkout files. Okay, so I'm happy with these default payment options for my customers. Let's navigate back and then we have advanced preferences which you can take the time to go through. We're gonna leave these for now and then navigate over to bank connections. Now, if you want to automatically import transactions from your bank account, then all you need to do is select the bank account that you're with and navigate through the process of connecting that bank. That's going to allow you to stop manual expense entry and you can automatically reconcile your transactions within your account. This is going to save you a ton of money and time. Okay, so once you've connected a bank account, then navigate over to items and services. Simply select items to add your products or items or select services if you're a service-based business. For today's tutorial, I'm using FreshBooks for a digital marketing consultancy. So I need to add my services. Quickly add your services here. Okay, so once you've added your new service or product, navigate down and click on save. And just like I showed you, take the time to add additional items and services. Next, let's navigate over to team members and add your team. As a growing service-based business, I have a team on the ground that engages with our clients and executes on our projects. To add a team member, navigate up to add team members and add their details and then hit add. Here we can add important information about that employee about that user. For example, Emma is a strategic advisor inside our service-based business, so I'm going to add their role and permissions. This individual is a employee, and with all the users that you add to your FreshBooks account, you can select the appropriate role. You can also see what that role has access to. Then navigate down, customize the invitation email if you like, and then click on send invitation. Let's close out of this. Now, if I click on a user, I can set the billable rate. For me, that's $95 an hour, click save. Then the cost rate, how much you pay your team members for the work that they do. Let's say the cost of all team members, including myself, is 65. I can also apply to all entries and then click on save. And then I can also set the capacity. Each week, this individual has 25 hours of work capacity within our business. Okay, now that we've set up our business, let's go ahead and add our first client. And this is where we can manage all our clients. Let's go ahead and add a new client. And I'm going to quickly add an example client in here. As you can see, I've quickly added basic details of this client. We can also set specific client settings. For example, we can set reminders, charge late fees, add the correct currency and language for this client, as well as automatic attachments to invoices. For now, let's go ahead and click on save. Great, just like that, we now have one client. Let's now go ahead and generate our first estimate. Navigate over to create new, and we have two options here. We can generate an invoice. This is simply a list of services that you provide and their details. If you want to craft more of a sales proposal, then you can select proposal. This is where you can add additional information in order to try and convert that client. However, for me, let's say I've had a phone call conversation and the client is ready to buy. They have simply requested an estimate for my services. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And you can see this quote, this estimate has already got my brand information. This is because I set this up in settings. You can also change the theme, the style here. Down here we can add the client. This is the client or we can add a new client if we like. Then navigate down and add a list item. Here we have the service that we added earlier. If I want to add another custom line item, I can simply add the item name and manually add the details in here. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. We can navigate down and add quote notes as well as terms. Then we can navigate up to save or send to and add your email subject as well as body and then send the estimate. You can also share this estimate via a link. Okay, let's close out of that and click on save. Now with our estimates down here, for example, if we click on this estimate that we just created, we can navigate up to more actions or we can edit this estimate. I'm going to click on more actions and let's say that this estimate was accepted by the client. Now what we can do is click more actions again and convert to invoice. And now we have an invoice that is due and we can send to the client and they can pay via these online payments that we connected to our invoices. We can set reminders. This could be a follow-up email reminder if the invoice wasn't paid in time. And we can set up these other options that we mentioned earlier. Again, simply navigate up to send to, compose your email and click on send invoice. Okay, let's simply save this for now. And that's going to take us over to invoices. If we navigate down the page, you'll see our invoices down here. Again, to create an invoice, simply click on new invoice and then add your invoice details similar to creating an estimate. 
Let's cancel out of this. You can also create reoccurring templates. Now, reoccurring templates allows you to automatically generate and send invoices on a set schedule. This will save you a ton of time by simplifying billing for your ongoing services, subscriptions, or regular work. You can define your frequency by weekly or monthly. Simply navigate up to new reoccurring template, create your invoice template like I showed you earlier. Again, build to, add the client, add the due date, add your line items, services or items, and then navigate over to reoccurring schedule. How often do you want this invoice to be sent? Weekly, monthly, yearly, custom. Then you can choose the number of invoices and delivery options down here. Again, this is important if you have a reoccurring service or a product that you sell and a client engages with you on a reoccurring basis. Then these reoccurring templates will save you a ton of time. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out of this for now, and then let's navigate over to retainers. In FreshBooks, this is an upfront or fixed payment from a client for a block of services or hours, and you can simply create that here. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. Then if we navigate over to payments, here you can simply manage all your invoice payments, as well as checkout link payments and other income. Under payments, we have expenses, and this is where you can track and manage your expenses. If you want to manually upload an expense, you can do that here. Simply add the details and add the expense settings here. Is it a reoccurring expense? You can add that as well as the currency. Most likely you're going to connect your bank account as I mentioned earlier, that's going to save you a ton of time with manual entry. When you connect your bank account, you can automatically reconcile transactions, not only your expenses, but also your income. Okay, so next let's take a look at projects. This is important for service-based businesses. The projects and time tracking works really well in FreshBooks for service-based businesses. Simply navigate up to create new. Is this project a fixed price, a flat rate, or are you charging by the hour? I'm going to select flat rate. Navigate over to add your team members. I'm going to add Emma, update team members, into your project name, then a description if you like, add the end date. I'm going to add a month from now, then the flat rate, this project is going to cost 15,000 and the total hours is 95 hours. We can add a service if we like, full client branding package. I'm going to add this new service and then assign a client. I'm going to add this client I added earlier. We can add these other details. I'm going to set costs, Emma's rate and then click done and then save. And now we have one project added. Here we can see all the important details regarding this project. We can see all associated invoices, estimates, expenses, services, and reports. We can also quickly track hours. For example, let's add a time entry. I can start the timer or manually add a time entry. Let's say today I spent five hours on this project. I've added the service. Here I'm going to add what I worked on. I completed the website theme for review. This is not billable as we've set a fixed price for this project. Go ahead and log time. And as you can see, my time entry has been logged in here. And if we navigate up here, you can see the remaining 90 hours. Five hours have already been spent on this project. We can view the profitability as well as navigate over to discuss. And here we can collaborate with our team. What I like about FreshBooks is it takes simple project management, but fundamental project management and incorporates this into your accounting activities. So rather than using a complicated third party project management tool, you can do everything that you need in terms of tracking, creating projects, managing projects and team collaboration inside FreshBooks. Again, here you can engage with your team. Okay, let's navigate back over to review. And now let's navigate over to time tracking. This is where you can manage all your time tracking activities. Down here, you can see I've already tracked time for five hours allocated to this specific project. Again, you can manually add an entry or leverage the built-in time tracker. You can also generate an invoice based on the billable time entries that you've added. Again, get paid for your billable project time, convert your time into invoices, and track everything for everyone. Many accounting tools do not have an effective project and time tracking solution built inside. This is what makes FreshBooks an ideal solution for service-based businesses. Okay, next under time tracking, we have accounting. You can access important information like profit and loss, balance sheet statements, revenue by client, sales tax summary, and more. Then we have reports. Here you can download all your financial reports. Now, if we navigate over to apps, 
Here you can seamlessly integrate third-party tools. Unfortunately, FreshBooks does not have too many integrations like Xero and QuickBooks. However, you can make the most of Zapier and Make to create specific workflows between your favorite apps. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this FreshBooks tutorial for service-based businesses. If you're interested in a complete breakdown of my top five accounting software for small businesses, then I will link that video guide up above and down below in the description. This will give you a good comparative understanding between the top accounting software for small businesses. And there we have it guys, that is it for this FreshBooks tutorial for small businesses. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.